How's it going? My name's Dave Whipple and you're watching Cheap Wheels. Here's the problem. You own a truck or a car that has filthy seats and filthy carpet. Or you happen to want to buy a car, but it has filthy seats and filthy carpet. The issue is taking a car or a truck to have the seats and carpet cleaned is going to cost you some money. So what do you do about it? In today's video, we're going to take about $75 worth of equipment I got off eBay and Facebook Marketplace, and we're going to take the seats out of this truck and completely clean them. Stay tuned. Now here's the candidate. This is my 96 F-250. I picked this up this spring for 350 bucks. Now it's in really good shape for a cheap truck, but it did have a grocery list of problems, not the least of which was the fact that it had filthy upholstery and filthy carpet. I'm going to take the seats out of this truck, throw the seats on a set of sawhorses, and we're going to get right to work on it and have a lot of room to work on the seats, and it'll give us a lot of room to work on the carpet. Now it's best to have a couple people to get your seats out, but you can just manhandle them out. They're really not that heavy, they're just quite awkward. Once I've got these seats out, I'm going to unbolt that center seat that folds down and has the cup holders. Now uh, look at these seats out in the sunshine, you can really see how filthy they are. By getting rid of the center seat, I'm going to be able to get to both of the seats, the passenger and the driver. Let's take a look at the tools we're going to use. I got this drill brush kit off of eBay for $12. Now this kit has three brushes. It has a round one that's about three inches in diameter. It has a four inch brush. This is a flat brush. And it has one that's about an inch and a half for cleaning cup holders and such. I got this spray bottle. Picked it up at a yard sale for 50 cents. And third and most important, I found this Bissell Spot Clean Pro Heat for $60 on Facebook Marketplace. Now what this machine does is it's a vacuum, but it also has a sprayer that sprays the upholstery behind the vacuum head. It has a tank for clean water, and as this tank is depleted, the other side is the tank for dirty water and it'll fill up. Basically what we have here is a very economical detailing kit. I got about $70 invested in these three things. Now before we can clean the seats, before we can clean the carpet, I'm gonna have to go through and vacuum every inch of this carpet. Now the reason being is once we get to the washing portion where we're actually using a wet process, there's no reason whatsoever why we should be dealing with loose surface dirt and surface debris. We need to get all of that taken off the fabric, taken out of the crevices, taken out of the pile of the carpet before we ever start washing the carpet and washing the upholstery. So getting right down into the nooks and crannies, getting everything off the surface that we can possibly get. Once everything has been completely vacuumed, we're ready to start the wet process. We're just going to use a DeWalt cordless drill, a four inch drill brush. Now to clean the seats, we're just going to use hot water with some laundry detergent. I've got two kinds here. I'm not thinking so. It smells like a laundromat. I like this one better. It's just fresh. When it comes to how much soap to use, I'm just erring on the light side. I don't want to put too much soap into the fabric, so just a little bit. With this uh, little spot cleaner, it's got this clear plastic head. So you see how dirty the water is. You see how much water is still being sucked out of the fabric. If you couldn't see it, I suppose you could probably leave a lot of water sitting in the fabric itself. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just going to get this fabric good and saturated. I'm not talking soaking wet, I'm just talking the very outside of the fabric, enough that the brush can work up some kind of a lather. Now using the drill brush like this is really interesting. This is my first go round with it. If you watch a lot of videos on professional detailing, this is the industry standard tool. It's basically like a washing machine that you can hold in your hand. It's really agitating those fibers and cleaning into that upholstery. I can actually see stains disappear just as I'm agitating the fibers and I haven't even started vacuuming the dirty soapy water out of these seats. The drill brush for $12, it's, it's an amazing thing. Now we're gonna take this spot cleaner, which a lot of times people will call an extractor and we're gonna start sucking that dirty water out of the fabric. Now using the extractor is just a little bit of a learning curve. Initially, I just wanted to use it to suck the soapy water out of the fabric as if you're using a shop vac. But what I found is that the, the, the spray function of this machine made a world of difference. It's saturating the fabric right ahead of the vacuum head. So a lot of water goes into the fabric. Oh, that's a beautiful shot of it. 
and then it's being sucked right back out. So what that does is it really helps to get in there and really give that dirt something to be pulled out with. You're not just trying to pull out a little bit of suds and, and, and some dirt particles. You're pulling out water. You're sucking saturated water out of the fabric. So that spray function makes a world of difference. I tried it without spraying, and I tried it with spraying, and, and it's kind of a night and day thing. It really, really works well when you use that spray function. And how that works, if I had a close-up shot here, it's just a vacuum hose with a vacuum head. And inside of the hose itself, there is a little line that's a little water line. And it's pressurized in the machine. And when you push the button, you get all the water spray you want. Now that clear plastic head is really important because it lets you know how much dirt is left in the fabric, lets you know how much water is left in the fabric. You can see if it's still pulling up dirty water or if it's pulling up clean water. And you can pretty much gauge if that area is clean and if that area has had all the water sucked out of it. Speaking of water, look at this muddy, dirty, filthy mess. That was in my seat. That's disgusting. This particular truck has about 240,000 miles, and I bet no one has ever bothered to clean the seats. So this was such a satisfying process. Getting the dirt out of my truck seats, it made it, made it just feel like a million bucks in that truck. Now the idea is to keep spraying and sucking that water, that filthy water out of the seats, keep saturating the fabric until it's clear, until it's cleaned up. And at that point, make lots of passes in both directions with just the vacuum function without spraying any water on it. That way you can get all of the water out of the fabric. Now watch the drill brush take the stain out of that corner. That's amazing. And that is kind of a grease stain, like you know, just kind of oily, greasy. A little bit of soapy water in that drill brush, it agitates the fibers in the fabric so much and really just beats the tar out of it with that hot soapy water in the spray bottle and the drill brush. It, it's basically like a part of a washing machine. And then all you need to do is wet it down and suck the wetness back out of there to get the soap, the water, and the dirt out. Wow, look at that. That is just, that is just so filthy. Oh, you look at the color in this water. There were certain areas of the seat where when I would pass the wand over the area, it looked like mud coming out of the seat. And no wonder, I mean, you can tell, nobody's bothered to clean this truck much. Years and years and years of neglect. That's not bad for a first timer. You see, this is the driver's seat and uh, it's quite a lot cleaner than the passenger seat. Let me give you a good close up. Back of the driver's seat, back of the passenger seat. There's a nice shot where you can get a little bit of both. There's the seat area of the one I just cleaned. There's the seat area of the one that needs to be cleaned. Seat fabric on the dirty one, seat fabric on the clean one. This is one of those jobs that is so easy to keep doing once you start. The satisfaction of making so much progress so quickly Especially when you go to empty out the dirty water portion of the, the cleaner. The water that comes out of there is horrific. And you're sitting on that water in your seats. It takes a little bit of time to figure out how to use the extractor. It takes a little bit of time to get comfortable with the drill brushes. But by the time I'm getting to the second seat and working on this passenger seat, I pretty much feel like a pro. Look at that. Now, just for comparison... Let's take a look at that center seat next to the two that are clean. What a difference. That's a filthy seat compared to the clean seats on either side. Now, the center seat, it was the filthiest of all three. And no wonder, it's got the cup holders when you fold it down. And it's probably had 100 cups of coffee spilled on it. 
And then, of course, it also has the driver's armrest and the passenger side armrest. So if this is a work truck and, you know, people have dirty clothes, they're, they're resting their arm on the fabric as opposed to just sitting on the fabric. Add to that 100 spilled cups of coffee, and this seat's disgusting. The water that came out of this thing, well, you'll see it. Now take a look at that. There's one armrest versus the other one. Look at this water coming out. It could be hot chocolate. It could be who knows what. Could it looks like it come off the floor of a barnyard. And ironically, even though these seats are so disgusting, and I'm basically sucking mud out of these seats, I've seen vehicles so much filthier than this truck. I wonder what it would look like to go through and clean a really, really, really disgusting vehicle. I mean, just just look at the water. It looks, it looks like coffee. It looks like, I don't know, it's horrible. Now time to do the other armrest. Now this would be the driver's side armrest, which probably gets the worst of it. Look at that water that's coming out of there. That is something else. Super slow motion. Look at the mud. Now I probably washed this armrest three times. And every time I kept picking more and more and more dirt out of it. And then I also found a portion of the seat where literally I couldn't get it clean. It was just, it looked like coffee coming out of it, which I'm pretty sure it was. Now, your arm gets wore right out with that little spray bottle. So when it came to the floor, I switched gears and I bought a Harbor Freight pump sprayer for about 15 bucks. And I could really saturate the carpet of this truck with that pump sprayer. So add that to the price. Let's say all the tools I'm using today, I've got about 85 bucks into. Now I took the same drill brush, I'd saturate the carpet on the floor of the truck, drill brush it, and then go through with the extractor and get every bit of dirt out of it that I possibly could. Right down by the, the track on the where the door opens, that seemed to be the dirtiest place. Such an entertaining thing to do. I found that I had a really good time just scrubbing the floor and sucking all the dirt out of it. Now basically what I've done here is I've watched other people's videos on YouTube of how to detail a car and clean the upholstery. And then I went out and sourced affordable versions of what a professional would use. And I tried to get it for as little as possible. So I'm shopping Facebook Marketplace and eBay. Now the drill brush kit is super cheap and you're probably not going to find that used. But you're definitely going to be able to find a spot cleaner used. With a drill brush kit, a spot cleaner, and a spray bottle, you can probably get 95% of the same results you would get if you took your car in to have it professionally done. Now that everything's clean, let's see what the water that has come out of the seats looks like. Oh my goodness, can you believe this? All of that dirt came out of the seats in the carpet, and it is an amazing amount of dirt. Wow. And just that easy, I've got all of the upholstery clean. I've got all the carpet clean. I put the seats back in, bolted them back down, and we are ready to go. Not only was this really satisfying to do, but by owning the equipment and doing the job myself, now I've got the equipment to clean every vehicle I own. And I could probably even make a little money on the side cleaning other vehicles. Remember, if you're like me and you hate the idea of a car payment and you refuse to pay full coverage insurance, best thing we can do is do our own work, save money, and keep our old vehicle running. My name's Dave Whipple and you've been watching Cheap Wheels. Keep your junk on the road.